Hello, this is Phil from Trifold Production for the Leather Blender. Quick tip for beginners, and in this quick tip, I'm going to in introduce you guys to a new add-on called Modeling Cloth. And I'll leave a link of the add-on for download in the description below this video. And it's the same process, you go to Edit, Preferences, and then you click on Install, and then just navigate to where you've installed the add-on on your system. Once you've found it, click on Install Add-on. And you put a check mark in the box, as usual, to activate the add-on inside the blender. And you're pretty much set to go. It's got this warning here, which I don't know what that's about, but it should work. Because I'm using Blender 2.82. Let me see, your future self is planning to travel, okay. Oh, that's, okay, that's funny. <laughs> okay, I, just, I just saw that, okay. That's what the warning's about. Usually the warning is going to say that it doesn't work in this version of Blender, but... This warning is a little bit different, which is, uh, you know, a lot of humor in that. I like, I like that. All right, so now once that's been done, uh, it should appear in the tool panel on the right side of the user interface in Blender. Usually the name of the add-on appears in the tab, but here it just says Extended Tools. So click on that. You'll see Modeling Cloth panel right here. You'll see the options for donating, buy books. And once again, this add-on is free. But, uh, you know, de donating money to these developer helps them develop better add-ons and even improve the add-ons that have, they've already made for us to use for free. So that's not a bad thing to do to donate towards the cause. Uh, so lines, apply to mesh, uh, soft goal, modeling cloth, collider. And has this option again, that which is the same thing at the top. Uh, but for my testing of this add-on, it seems to act more uh, like along the lines of like a soft body kind of deal as opposed to a cloth simulation and I'll show you what I mean by that so once you've installed it and you've uh, you know checked on whatever you want to simulate as cloth because I've downloaded this uh, character from Make Human and uh, modeled this shirt for us to use and as, as an example in this tutorial uh, so I'm going to click on this shirt and then click on modeling cloth it's pretty straightforward there's nothing really uh, too complicated with the add-on. <coughs> Excuse me. And then you want to click on Continuous Updates because you want what you want to do when you click on Continuous Updates. You're going to see the actual uh, once you make ch made changes in the parameters, you'll see it actually happen inside of the user interface, which is cool. Usually with cloth simulations in Blender, you'd have to click on the play button after you set everything up to see what you're doing see your your uh, changes in action but with the modeling cloth it happens in real time which is great so we're going to go down to the par parameters here and I'm going to show you what I mean by it. it acts more like a soft body object like jelly as opposed to a uh, cloth add-on I'm going to click on the character here because I want the cloth to just sit on his body not go through his body and I'm going to click on Collider. Now the Collider option does the same thing as when you click on uh, the Physics tab. And then you choose Collision. It's the same thing. It's the same thing. So let's click up back on our cloth. We want to see what this uh, modeling cloth add-on actually does. So we're going to go to Gravity. And we're going to reduce Gravity and see what happens. Now you can see what I mean by it acts more like a soft body. Because right now it's kind of hanging off of the model more like it's got too much spring to it I guess if you increase the stiffness that would make it a little bit stiffer but it acts more like uh, you know like slime or jelly as opposed to cloth uh, once you one thing you have to keep in mind is when you make any changes like resetting the values which is what we're going to do right now we're going to reset it back to zero and to re have that change actually take effect go up to reset click reset and it takes it back puts the, the model uh, back into this original original position and now we're going to increase the gravity and see what happens there and then it floats see this you could be simulated more along the lines of like a hot air balloon or a um, what do you call those things those uh, blimps because blimps are made out of some of them are made out of cloth <coughs> so this would simulate that uh, if in a uh, CGI aspect. So let's go back to gravity, click on that, zero again, reset. And it 
has some really cool wind effects too on the X, Y, and Z axis. So if we increase the wind on the X axis, let's see what happens. It blows it in that direction. That's what it's supposed to, which is great. Zero again. And click on reset. And you can actually put pins. In Blender, if you want to pin any piece of cloth, you would have to go to this whole process, creating a vertex group, then highlighting the areas where you'd want the pin to happen. Then open up the physics tab and go to the cloth simulation and go to the shape tab inside of Blender. Then you'd have to click on the pin and then select that vertex group that you just created to cause pinning to happen. But with this uh, modeling cloth, all you have to do is just click on create pins. And then it has these little orange dots here. Then you just pin, just left click. That's all you have to do, left click, left click. Let's pin the whole top part and then press escape to get out of that and then let's press uh, let's click on the cloth again and then we're gonna press the increase the wind on the x-axis again see what happens and see that top part is pinned it's not gonna move at all let's kinda re let's kinda reduce any changes you make make sure that once you made those changes to any parameters click on reset and that's a little a more gentle blowing of the wind which is cool. So this is not a really this is not a bad add-on at all and because it's free that actually says a lot more about it because you can do some really great simulations in real time with this add-on and come up with some really great results and this looks really great and let me g take this let's go back down and turn the wind down to zero again enter and reset and if you have a situation where you, your cloth, so to speak, is going through, <coughs> excuse me, going through itself, you just have to go up to, let me see, self collision should be here somewhere. Self collision, let's click on that. And that should help the cloth not to go into itself, which is something that tends to happen in cloth simulations and 3D animation just in general. And it's got a lot more parameters to it, a lot more cool options in it. Uh, strength source, growth source, delete the pins. Let's delete these pins. Let's see. Oh, yeah, there you go. So, how to delete the pins? Let me see. And sometimes it is, because it's open source, it's, it's a little finicky sometimes. Let me show you what I mean when it comes to being finicky in terms of it not really simulating cloth movement. Let's leave these pins where they are. Let's open up a new scene. New and general. Let's not save this. Let's delete this cube here. Mm, delete on the keyboard. Shift A plane. Let me scale this up by pressing S. Uh, tab and edit mode. W to subdivide. And then here, when you drag this all the way up, this goes up to 10. But to get more subdivisions, just left click in there and just type in the, whatever number you want. Let's type in 20. Enter. And let's tab out. W, Shade Smooth. And I'm going to show you what I, mean, uh, what I mean by it being kind of finicky when it comes to cloth simulation. Let's click on Modeling Cloth again. And we're going to click on, let me see continuous update and grab and it turns the uh, pointer into a hand when you grab the middle you see it moves okay it moves like this which is cool but to me it still kind of moves like jelly so to speak like slime almost and okay, to get out of this uh, press escape first and then reset now we're going to press self collision and once we do that, the cloth is not supposed to go into itself at all because when before we clicked on self collision and we drug it around the way we did previously, the cloth is going into itself. And you saw those like little uh, kind of black areas. That means that the cloth is intersecting into itself. Now let's click on grab again. Let's see what happens. And it's still pretty much it's still doing it, so to speak. You now people can be saying, "Well, you're dragging it through itself, so what do you expect?" But still, there should be some kind of difference between 
uh, when soft collision has been activated and when it hasn't been. And to me, it still kind of looks like it's the soft collision is not really working that well, so to speak. But that's that's the only issue I've, I've kind of seen with it. Escape again, reset. When it comes to the soft collision part, it doesn't really seem to... It seems to be trying to calculate it because it seems to lag a little bit. But in terms of like the appearance of it, not really... Uh, the cloth not really going into itself. You can't really tell that well. But yeah, for a free open source add-on, this isn't a bad add-on at all. I mean, you could do a lot of things with it. Um, and like I said before, to really kind of simulate cloth movement, you would probably have to increase the stiffness. I don't know how high this goes. Let's see. Okay, that goes pretty high. Oh, this did something strange there. Let's turn this back to one. Enter, reset. Uh, you can probably increase the stiffness, uh, and uh, that would probably kind of help it, so to speak, not to look so much like jelly or slime. But for the most part, I mean, if you want to have like a quick simulation of cloth movements with a flag or a balloon or a blimp or a person wearing clothing and it's like moving uh, with the person as the person moves, this is not a bad add-on to actually utilize. Yeah, so this is not bad at all. It's, it's for open source, it's, it's pretty good. So once again, this is a uh, introduction to the modeling cloth add-on. It's free, open source. And once you download it, just pretty much, you know, experiment with these parameters and see what you can get. Because I, I do believe that with this add-on, once you understand the parameters well enough and you use them effectively, you can actually come up with some good cloth simulations. And it actually does so. It does so cloth, um, <laughs> uh, different pieces of cloth together uh, effectively. Let me see if I can simulate that to... Uh, let me see, let me go to, let me open up a new window again, file, new, general, don't save this. Let me delete this cube, shift A, mesh plane, let me scale this up. Uh, shift, wait a minute, let's go into edit mode, tab again, W, subdivide, uh, let's, let's make this 20 again, enter. Let's tap out of edit mode. Uh, let's click on our move gizmo. Uh, Shift D to duplicate this and drag this up. And we have two pieces of, of uh, meshes here. I'm gonna tab on this. Oh, edit mode. Uh, let me see. Let's join these two together. Control uh, J, join them together, and go into edit mode with both of them. I'm going to hold down, let's press A to deselect everything, then hold down Alt and left click. Is that it? Alt. Okay, these two these line of vertices. Hold down Shift, Alt, left click again. And then let's go back to our cloth, modeling cloth, model cloth. Let me see, the sewing, there's, there should be a sewing option in here. Okay, sew lines. And there you go. It sews those lines together, those edges together. So you can actually uh, piece together different meshes and sew them together along the edges. If you want to make like an intricate piece of clothing, you know, like a hood or laced skirts, things like that. Things that you can see like in Marvelous Designer or in Simply Cloth, or in the uh, Garment Tool. Uh, that Those are paid add-ons for Blender. But this does sew cloth, so that's also a bonus. So yeah, that's uh, today's Blender Quick Tip, an introdu introduction to the modeling cloth add-on. And once again, I thank you guys who have been watching the videos, and I hope this video was helpful for you guys who are watching it. Uh, thank you guys who have subscribed in the past. Uh, those of you who are subscribing now and those of you who will subscribe in the future, really appreciate you guys. And I will see you guys on the next one. All right, adios.